I'm going to show you how you can download Worst Hacked Client for Minecraft Java Edition 1.20 and 1.20.1. .1. So as I basically said, the best thing about this is is that, you know, it has been updated to the latest version of Minecraft Java Edition. Anyways, you want to head to the top two links in the description. This right here is going to be the top one. It's going to be the official Worst Hacked Client website right here. You want to scroll down a little bit. Uh, you can choose to donate here if you wish to do so and then under the downloads tab you'll find uh, the most recent versions so for 1.20 uh, or 1.20.1 either you can choose um, I'm just going to choose the 1.20.1 version so you want to click on the download for that right there as you can see that's going to start downloading in the bottom left hand side of my screen and then you also want to click the white button next to that which is the fabric API you will need click on that as well as you can see in the bottom left hand side of my screen that's gonna start downloading too next what you will need is fabric for minecraft now some of you may already have this and you'll probably know if you do anyways if you do not you wanna head to the second link in the description and then you wanna click on this blue link right over here and then another thing is gonna install in the bottom left hand side of my screen so here in my downloads now as you can see we've got these three files which we just downloaded one of which is the fabric installer uh, and this is the first one you just want to go ahead and double click on that one and it's going to show um, this little thing here your minecraft version is going to be whatever you chose I chose 1.20.1 so I'm going to select 1.20.1 here if you chose the 1.20 version you obviously want to select that right for the rest you just want to leave this as it is and then you want to click on install as I said if you did not have this already as some of you may already have this anyways once it's finished it'll bring up this button over here and you can just click on OK and you can click away this now for some of you this may not work and that's because these are executable jar files and you need a program called Java not to be confused with Minecraft Java edition to open these up if it is not working I will link a video down in the description and in the pinned comment too if I remember to help you guys out with that anyways once you've got fabric installed you can basically delete it because what we had there was the installer and not the actual program itself anyways once you have completed that install you want to press the windows key and the r key at the same time and then you want to type in percentage sign app data and then another percentage sign just like so then you want to click on ok and you'll be put into this folder here or this folder here either way you want to make sure that you're inside of roaming then one of the top folders here is going to be .minecraft that's the one you want to enter and then you want to locate the mods folder right over here this is the one you want um, and then in my case this is going to be empty once again if you already had whatever we just installed you might already have mods in here that is absolutely fine yep either way you just want to make sure that you grab both of these which is the fabric API as well as the worst client um, and you want to just drag both of those right into there and now this is the same mods folder that you can actually just access through regular minecraft um, however the difference with this one is well there's not a difference the difference is that we're now accessing it through our uh, devices directory which means that the second that we launch minecraft now we'll not have to put these mods in through minecraft but they'll just already be there for us which is definitely useful Next what you can do is open up the Minecraft launcher and what you're going to notice is that you're automatically going to have fabric loader and then whatever version you chose right over here. Now you can obviously also go back to any versions that you do wish to go back for so there's no need to worry about that. Anyways uh, you can just keep that selected and then you want to click on play. You'll need to tick this box and click on play for the first time that you're launching this and that's basically Minecraft just telling you hey you're playing modded minecraft and there are some risks that come with that now as well the first time that you click on play 
Minecraft will quickly need to download something, as you can see right over here. Once again, this is just for the first time that you're loading it up, and the next times that you load this up, this will not need to happen. With Minecraft loaded up, as you can see, we loaded up Minecraft 1.20.1 Fabric and Modded, which is great. Now, since we opened up that folder earlier, our mods are already going to be enabled and working for us. So we can just quickly head into single player over here, and I'm just going to head into a testing world. With us being loaded up into our world, you'll immediately notice the worst icon here, as well as the one up there. If you're wondering why it's a sausage, it's because it's not worst, it's worst. I tried to talk German while talking at the same time. Not very smart. Basically, it's the word sausage in German. Um, which, yeah, if you're wondering why. Anyways, basically, I'm just quickly going to show you how you can use this so you can get started, um, and it's pretty self-explanatory after that, so it, it it's honestly not too hard. If you do want me, though, to make an in-depth tutorial on how to use it, um, on how to use this hack client, then I definitely will. Let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, basically, uh, you can press on the right-hand control um, to bring up this hack menu here, and... Uh, you can click on, and that's just going to pause your game. As you can see, I can't do anything. Uh, so, you, there's, basically you can collapse these down, all these menus. Uh, you can pin some of them, just like that. You can move them around too, if you wish. Uh, and you can basically just collapse them, and then you can um, enable them by clicking on them, or disable them by uh, clicking on them again. And there's basically a bunch here you can look through them if you wish to uh, most of them are pretty self-explanatory yeah so for example um health tags shows the health of players in their name tags which is definitely pretty useful if we enable that and then press on the control on the right control again or on escape just like that as you can see in the top left um, under the worst logo, um, we are going to see all the different hacks basically that we've got enabled at this point in time. That's why you can see that there. If we click on that again, we can go over to other and it was it was in the render. And then we can disable that and then if we click on escape, then as you can see it's not going to be there. Now you can actually also open up a second menu and instead of pressing the right control, you can press the right shift button. And that's just going to basically bring up a list of all these uh, all these things here. Yeah, so the, the without the um, different UI. So this is maybe if you want to maybe just want to enable them quickly, um, which also has a search bar. Um, so, you know, that that is useful. But I definitely prefer uh, this one right over here I think is a lot more easier to see things that way uh, basically that's just simply how to use this um, as I said most things have descriptions as well as them pretty being pretty self-explanatory um, anybody if you do have questions of course feel free to leave those down in the comments below but for right now thank you ever so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one bye bye